Hey everybody, L here playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Today we have a special guest in the video. We have the one and only Natsu. Natsu with an X, Mr. Starlight. Say hello. Hello, I'm Natsu. You know, and we're... Some people know me for only using Starlight and repping it no matter what. Yes, Starlight before anyone else thought it was a good Keyblade. The very first one actually just run it all day long. Yeah, it worked out in the end. So so many metals just fit so well on that blade these days. It's kind of fun. Even the new stuff, even though it's the very first blade. Yeah. Yeah, and so. we're here today. We're going to talk about uh, this new banner in JP Union Cross. The one making all the waves. This one featuring Kyrie KH 0.2 version. So on this banner, every time you do a 10 pull, you'll get 10 VIP coins. There's a chance to get three of those EX medals. And then you get uh, at least one of six reprint premiums guaranteed. Really, the star of the show is this Kyrie. So she's a tier five medal. Um, she comes three orbed if you pull her from this banner. And her ability is she's an AOE medal that buffs your general attack by six tiers and then your PSM attack by one tier and lowers your enemy's general defense by one tier and lowers enemy's general defense by one tier all for one turn and she has an extra large heal so this last part the extra large heal I've seen um, a lot of people mistake it for the same heal as the original illustrated Kyrie. They think that it's just the Kyraga, but it's actually more than that. It's probably, um, we'll probably call it Kyraja. But anyway, um, this metal costs two gauges and has a max multiplier of 3.93. Natsu, what do we think about this? Um, this is pretty much the metal you don't want to skip. Like, I don't, know, I don't see any buffer coming close to this metal for a really long time. Sort of like how the original Illustrated Kyrie was when it first came out. How sad is that metal right now? Oh, I, I've i just abandoned all hope for that metal. It's just it, completely gone to me. It looks like she's grown up. And yeah. So instead of three tiers of attack for three gauges, it's twice that and then some. Yeah. Yes. So there's, yeah, twice that. And then you add the PSM and the minus one general defense. And for some reason, they decided that it, that sh this should cost one less gauge. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I don't know. I've always said before that if you ever see a Kyrie premium announce, just prepare to have to pull for it because it's always amazing when it comes out. That's really good, actually. Um, I know a lot of people who uh, were watching the data mines and they saw this Kyrie and it happened after the 0 0.2 version Riku. That one was... Um, buffing your general based and power based attack by two tiers for two turns so a lot of people just assumed the metal that followed that one would have the same ability but raising speed based right. attack instead so yeah i heard that but so that was I, a know, big I could never really see Kyrie as a damaging metal i guess yeah that's She's right. just always been known as a buffer to me right that's absolutely correct so we listen to natsu now every time you see a Kyrie in the data mine in a spoiler <laughs> You stop everything and you start saving jewels. Because she's always gonna be she's always gonna be OP on some level. Yeah. And so this banner, even though um, the reprints, let's take a look at those. Oh, here's Sora EX. Oh, what do you think about Sora EX, by the way? Um, I think he's a really good magic metal, and especially if you like to run counterpoint and. What's up going? I'd also like him in the last slot of Starlight just because he's a really good nuke. But I don't know. Everything I really like Starlight. being able to 
combo also with Namine into Sorry EX, so that's a really easy way to cap out on your buffs for, for PSM. That's amazing that that doesn't even cost any more gauges because it's uh, zero and two. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, this one, I haven't talked about it, I think, in a video yet. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and mention that the Sora Art Version EX, it does what you expect because it's basically the magic version of the two EX medals that came before it. So it buffs your magic-based attack by three tiers for one turn and then lowers your enemy's magic-based defense by three tiers for one turn. It does have the same uh, condition that wants you to be at uh, higher HP for this metal to be stronger. And then the difference is this one does three hits instead of, uh, compared to Axel that does one and then Cloud who does 11. Do you have a favorite one out of these three, Natsu? Um, for utility, Cloud, or sorry, Axel, just because he's one hit, you know, it makes him really good for like high score challenging stuff. As far as looks, I think Cloud definitely looks the best, but as far as ones I could actually use, I do Sora, just because he fits on Starlight and the others don't, so. Each of them have my reasons for why I like them, but as okay. far as which one I'd actually end up using, it would probably be Sora. Okay, and have you pulled any of these so far? Um, I actually was able to pull my first DX, and I got a Cloud the other day as I was pulling for Kyrie on this banner. And so I'm pretty happy about that. It really helped out my Fenrir setup. And what's really amazing about that, by the way, um, if you guys haven't seen this in Japan, is that now all these notices from the pulls come with drop rates. So that Cloud EX that Natsu pulled, and here that is on the screen right now, um, the drop rate of that metal is about 0 0.19540%. Um, the, the drop rates are from all the banners are going to be published from uh, now moving forward. And this is uh, something that I believe I think is just a Japan thing. I'm not sure this is going to be coming to North America with Union Cross. But after seeing these rates, I finally know why I don't have one of these. <laughs> Oh yeah, it definitely took a lot of pulls before I got my first one. But you see other people get lucky, so it's just all RNG, like it always has been. Right, and uh, the boosted version. Now, if you're lucky enough to get one of those, those the drop rate for that is 0.02%. So we're not even talking 1%. This is We're not even supposed to move the decimal two more spaces over. This is fractions of 1%. It just boggles the mind at, at how low these... I was really surprised the first time I saw these numbers. Oh yeah, I was too. But then again, maybe we shouldn't have been. Yeah, maybe we, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't have been. Um, Some of okay. those numbers are kind of disheartening. Right, and then so as we go from these uh, numbers, the fractions of a percent, you know, 0.19, and then we get start getting into the more... or the less desirable metals. Um, your tier twos, those numbers kind of keep going up at the five star rarities. So every single medal in the game, or not in the game, but every single medal that's pullable um, is gonna be in this list so at different uh, rarities. So four star versions, you'll see we start getting up to half a percent for each. And then uh, three star versions start going up to 0.6% for each. So that's literally everything that you can possibly pull from this banner. And then uh, to talk about this here a little bit, so there is a one, at least one guaranteed reprint. So that's what you see here at six stars, 100% uh, guaranteed. And then that six star medal has um, a 14-ish percent chance to be any one of these with a 2% chance of it being boosted. What do we think about these reprints this time? Well, let's take a- uh, I don't know, I think here they are. Kyrie really overshadows a lot of them just because of how amazing she is. So these are pretty know. much outdated by now, right? Yeah, a lot of them came out almost a year ago, really. That's true, the we do still. The latest one was about six months ago. I think, was the earliest one, was it the Ansem or the Riku? But, I believe it was Riku. And those are the tier threes. Yeah. So we it's... have two each here uh tier three tier four and tier five 
Yep. So now if we get these, we're pretty much uh, awakening them and rolling for traits. Now, Nasu, do you personally um, just go ahead and roll for traits, or do you wait to have a boosted copy? No, well, most of the time I just go ahead and roll. Because there is that situation, right? When you have a when you pull a boosted copy later, we can't transfer the traits over. Oh yeah, that's correct. So, so that always has uh, kind of has me hesitating. Like if I have <laughs> extra copies of something. Do I just throw them in and roll the traits, or do I just hang on to them? I haven't decided what I want to do, so I guess I'm hanging on to them. Yeah, now that I think about it that way, I probably should be holding on to some of these reprints. But then again, you could roll an extra 1,000 attack, and it's like having a boost of metal. Yeah, that's what happened with my nominee, actually. Yeah, I was lucky enough to pull one from the other banner that's going away now, but... You know, my first trait roll, I got plus 1,000 attack, so I lucked out a little bit on that. Right, so it's like a build-your-own-boosted metal. <laughs> Pretty much. I guess that's not too bad, because these uh, premium metals, they do have two available trait slots. Yeah. So even if you kind of use one of the slots to get an extra 1,000 attack, you still have one extra slot. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking myself into rolling the traits down <laughs> instead of hanging on to them. Well, anyway, um, let's look at the other one just a little bit. That The other banner that Natsu was talking about, um, even though it's going away really quickly. Let me find it here. Because they are uh, bringing back some of these commemorative medals that uh, used to be... Um, exclusive for people who pulled in guilted certain things. Are we happy about this? No. For these ones specifically, I don't know. I missed out on key art one or key art two, unfortunately. But I guess this sort of feels a little bad for the Sora and Roxas or Sora and Riku one, just because it was a lot harder for me to get. It initially and so it just seems I don't know not really unfair but just I don't know, kind of weird that you can just pull it as a reprint and a banner now because I guess we're in April now and that Sora and Riku medal came out I think around anniversary right yeah so when we first got our tier fives, that's I think it was we had to get the illustrated Riku B and illustrated Sora B. Yeah. So that was September. So we're now about seven months later. It's pullable. Um, yeah. Are these still relevant in your opinion, or do we think it's just for collection purposes now? Oh no, I think they're only for collection at this point. You know, there's a lot better models out now. The one thing that kind of concerned me before about like a banner like this was, um, I think the first well, key art does uh, key art two restores gauges, but I think um, the Mickey and the Sora and Riku and then the Halloween Town Sora just only um, they're just straight damage medals. Yeah, they are. So those are the ones that get um, power crept the fastest, I think. Yeah, it always seems like damaging metals get crept a lot faster than utility metals. Right, and um, this one goes away in a few hours as we're recording this, but we are expecting one more wave of the uh, Renewal Memorial Banner to come for the last three days. I think this is the going to be the fifth and final wave ending on April 6th. And uh, I got a little tip from somebody that um, that one's actually going to be, if I can pull up the quest here. So Little Birdie told me if we peek into the high score challenge and look at the percent list, that there's this very suspicious uh, King Mickey 0.2 version that's here. And we suspect that it might be due to, um, due to come out in the next wave of the renewal banner just because it's in here because that'll get here before the high score challenge ends so I think 
of all the medals that have been on banners and reprints, this is the only one sort of the odd duckling in here that's not accounted for, right? Well, yeah, it looks like it. But we don't know what the other five are going to be, so we'll find out in a few hours. But um, not so right now, by the way, everybody. He's uh, top 100 in the high score challenge, right? Oh, yeah. So, Please. so top 100 um, these days kind of looks like, whoops, uh, ranking rewards. Top 100 looks like um, one three orbed copy of the Donald and Goofy 0.2 version, and then two separate ones for extra trait rolls, along with. Uh, three power stones or power gems and then four Mickey and brooms. So do we, I think this is uh, this is now different, a uh, different reward structure compared to the last high score challenge, right? Yeah. The last one it used to just give you more Mickey and brooms rather than extra copies in the middle. Is this enough copies for trait rules, you think? Mm, I think maybe one more per bracket. It'd be decent, or it'd be nice. Right, because it looks like even the highest of the highest, that's only 50 players get the... get to re-roll the trait one time. Yeah. They could be more generous with that. Yeah, they could be. I'm just glad they didn't keep it the other way to where the only person that could ever get a trade at all or top 100 because you'd only get two copies then. That's true. So this is uh, better than it used to be, but we're greedy and we want more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we've got, I think, yeah, so the only people or the, I guess the lowest bracket to be able to get a trade at all on this medal is going to be top 1500. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. Below that is just going to be the, okay, top 2,000 gets the one orb copy, and then same for this bracket, down to, oh, that's, okay, it's still a one orb down to 3,500. It's only top 4,000 that gets the unorb copy. So those, yeah. these guys won't, everyone here won't get traits on this medal, but what do you think about this medal without traits? Let's talk, uh, let me pull up the description for that. Let's go back to hear the uh, beautiful background music from HD Mickey. We'll have that going as I pull up the notice for the high score challenge. Here that is. Um, okay, Donald and Goofy, Upright Magic. The si this is a single target metal that buffs your magic based attack by three tiers for one turn. And then it also lowers your enemy's general defense by one tier for one turn. Deal six hits, costs four gauges, has a 13x multiplier. So without traits, what do we think about this metal? Even without traits, this is still a great metal. You know, it just hits so hard. And you know, it's basically just a magic version of Illustrated Terra B, which came out about a month and a half ago. So that one is still fairly recent. Um, yeah, it is. Has not been power crept, thankfully. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, 13. Um, you don't see very, me very many medals with uh, 13x multiplier. Yeah, especially ones that also buff and debuff. Right, so even without traits, uh, if you're in the top 4,000, I think I think I agree. This is still, in, still an excellent medal. Um, so I don't think people should freak out about not being able to roll traits on it because this is earnable from a high score challenge compared to the power version, the Terra, that re um, that was on its own banner, that was worthy of its own banner, but now we can earn one with um, in just inside the high score challenge. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, I think that's all we're going to hear. Uh, we're, we'll be here to talk about today. You guys should actually check out Natsu's YouTube channel. He has videos <laughs> of his high score challenge runs, making it, I think, uh, what is it? What is the score now? High nine millions? Did you break uh, almost at 10 million? I'm almost there. About 9.9. 9. 
Yeah, 9.98, somewhere around there. So everyone should go watch how he pulled that off. Pretty amazing stuff. Alrighty, so that's going to do it for today. Um, I hope everyone uh, enjoyed having Natsu on. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be uh, seeing more videos with more guests. I think I, uh, this was a lot of fun. It was great talking right. to you. Thank you for having me. I hope you come back. Let's do it again. Oh, I'd love to. Excellent. So uh, that said, uh, this, we're going to wrap it up here. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, bye, everybody. Natsu. All right. See you guys later. Okay. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.